What's going on guys, Joel Robinson here, and in this video we're lighting some ball shells, the Magnum Artillery from SFX Fireworks. So big shout out to Paul's Pyro. This video would not be possible without him donating some shells from a case that he had purchased. And fun fact, this is recorded on his birthday. So I'm dedicating this video to him. I'll link his channel in the description of this video. Make sure to go give him some love. There are 12 ball shells in this kit and I'm really excited because a good ball shell goes a long way for me. You'll see some of the descriptions on the side here. We got red, white, and blue peony, blue stars with white strobe, purple stars with green strobe, red strobing willow, silver crackling chrysanthemum, red and green peony, green strobe with red cross Set pistol, ooh, gold willow, gold brocade to green stars, green strobing willow, colorful peony with crackle, blue stars with red cross set pistol. Comes with a fiberglass mortar here. That's pretty awesome. A lot of times you'll see cardboard and shell kits. So if we look at the ball shells here, the effects are not listed on the shells. That kind of stinks. I was hoping to kind of coordinate to shoot them in a certain order. They all have this coating on the end of it. You can see that kind of purple residue. That's probably to help light it better if they had the effects we could take multiple shell kits and pair like effects together like i really want wanted to highlight like this cross at pistol because i'm curious how that's going to work or for example putting the silver chrysanthemums in a finale or something like that but anyway we'll put all 12 in a shell rack i'll do a slow few so we can check them out i'll probably do a two or three shot finale so this is the magnum artillery tube versus a canister shell tube now, obviously this is for ball shells, but just looking at it, since I mentioned it's fiberglass and not cardboard, it is much thinner diameter than a lot of the canister shell tubes you would see. Just wanted to note that. To fuse it, we're gonna be using this perfect fuse from Big Fireworks. This is 10 seconds per foot. Not my best fusing job, but you'll kind of see what I did here. We just snake around, give myself plenty of slack here. So these shots should go really nice pace. And then what I did was I just basically sucked those two pieces of fuse together. So this should go faster for the last two shots. The biggest thing here, because this fuse is being stretched, you wanna make sure that that shell is still touching the bottom of the tube, which it is. I'm gonna cover it with tape and we'll be ready to light it. Not bad shells. The uh, timing was doing really good and right until that end part. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do 